Medical officials will be conducting two sophisticated blood tests. One is called an HLA test, and the other is called red cell phenotyping. Blood has already been drawn from the infant, Mr. and Mrs. Alexander, whose daughter was kidnapped, and Mr. and Mrs. Lett, who claim the baby police recovered, is theirs. The tests will identify certain substances that are found on red blood cells, which act as markers. They are hereditary. Lab technicians will be able to tell without a doubt which adults are not the parents and will be able to come within a 2% margin of error of determining which are the parents. Though the baby is being kept at Grady Hospital, an independent facility is conducting the lab tests. The tests themselves take almost a full day, so we cannot see the test beginning before in the morning. Uh, hopefully we'll have the results back sometime late tomorrow afternoon so that the district attorney can approach the court on Wednesday. One source close to the investigation said all involved are convinced that the baby recovered is in fact Shantae Alexander and that the blood tests are being compiled to provide more evidence in the case against Mrs. Lett. She is being charged with kidnapping. In the meantime, the Alexanders and Mr. Lett will be permitted to look at, but not touch, the five-and-a-half-week-old baby. Mark Picard, Action News.